Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. It's Rivals Rewards Day, of course, and it's about that time of the week again where we take a look at the cards in packs and say, hey, can we invest in any of these for out of packs rises, especially as the content has not been that hot this week. It really is reminding me of the same scenario we had last week with the foot birthday cards from Team 2. There's a lot of good cards and packs that people are interested in. The SPC content has not been as hype. Although it's been decent value, it hasn't been that hype as of late. So more of the focus is on the cards and packs. And that could potentially, again, like we saw last week with foot birthday, lead to some rises out of packs. So we'll talk about that today, of course. Thursday could be a decent day of content because we had yesterday on thir on Wednesday that was not very good at all, right? Monday and Wednesday were both days that we would maybe classify as dead or quiet. But then Tuesday, of course, was pretty exciting with the campaign player pick pack. And then potentially today on Thursday, they'll bring something else out that will be hype as well. I'm just theorizing in that sense. But Thursdays are usually usually decent content days. We have some new pack codes to look at. Uh, don't know if they're dropping today, but some new pack codes have been added. Nothing crazy, uh, just some interesting different types of upgrade packs. And then also we have the potential for upcoming Icon Moments player SBCs. The first leaks have come out about two players that will be coming out as icon moments SBCs for players not upgrade packs but players not sure when but hopefully that time is pretty soon and that's exciting because that's going to take us into a part of the year where a lot of people will be doing icon SBCs to get those moments versions the best versions of icons through an SBC. So that's everything we're going to cover the video today. Of course, it's rewards day as well. So we'll take a look at the market. Fodder is down. Some of these fantasy foot cards are up a little bit, but of course, EA is running the late night lightning round. So we'll take a look at how that'll affect these cards and how rewards, marquee matchups, and everything today could affect them as well. So if you're excited for the video, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's let's take a look at these foot fantasy cards because again, it's that time of the week where we take a look at these cards and like, okay, these guys are going out of packs in one day. Tomorrow on Friday, new batch of cards is coming in. Last week, we actually had a rise after the Rivals Rewards time frame on the foot birthday cards, if you remember that last week. So first, we got to answer the question, if we're going to invest in any of these cards because we think they're going to go up out of packs, why would we invest in them? Are, are they going to go up, right? That's the fundamental question. Are these cards going to rise out of packs? What's going to make them rise? Well, again, like we said, and it's almost the same scenario as last week, the cards that are in packs right now are more, are more hyped and more sought after than like anything else on this game, right? People want to try Nani, Gelson Martins, Kamavinga. Uh, of, of course, we have crazy prices for guys like St. Maximin and Rashford, but guys like Stones and Klosterman, Roussillon, Balde, Lucas Moore, a lot of these cards people want to try out, and these are more hyped than the cards that have come via SBCs and objectives for the most part so far. So with that hype being there and with not a lot of other insane SBCs out for people to do besides Mbappe Player of the Month, um, which was out last week, by the way, when the foot birthday cards started rising as they went out of packs. So that's not something you know that we have to really worry about this week, this time around. Um, I just think there's a decent amount of hype for these cards and they're pretty rare. We've seen it all week. I mean, take a look at this Nani card, 500,000 coins at the moment. If you look at his graph each for the past couple of days, Tuesday, he was 507k, went up to 530. Yesterday on Wednesday, he was like 530k, went down to 500, went back to 530. He's now back down to 500 once again. People are buying these cards and trying them out because they're cool and they're hype, right? So as we take a look at this team, can we ask the question, are they going to rise? I think that they might. Again, of course, there's always the caveat, EA is control. There's always the caveat that we could say um, and the potential that we have to recognize that EA could crash the market at any time with F any SBCs, any content that could drop prices, you know, at a moment's notice, but that's the same risk that we always are working with on this game. So I think that we have to be careful in that sense. Of course, with team of the season, a couple weeks around the corner, you're starting to see people start to talk about team of the season and getting ready for that, posting predictions on Twitter, stuff like that. That's going to start to create some more hype around that big promo. But I think for now, we're still in the clear. The thing that I don't like about these cards is that they're, yes, still very overpriced. Like Alan St. Maximin, the, the upgrades are really what's priced into these cards and making them so expensive. But like these cards are incredibly rare. St. Maximin's 4.4, 4.5 million coins still on the market. And I don't know if there's ever been more than like two or three pages of the St. Maximin card on the market at all time or at any time. 
during this promo. So these cards are just, they're just rare, right? The lightning rounds, I don't think EA selling a ton of packs, even though they're putting out tons of lightning rounds, it looks like a lot of these are not going sold out every time they open up and every time they put them out. And that's making these cards uh, pretty, pretty rare on the market. So those are things that make me like these fantasy foot cards for potential investments. Now, let's talk about which one of these you maybe want to look at investing. Well, we have, again, like I said, a good comparison last week to foot birthday team number two. If we take a look at some of these cards, we can kind of notice, all right, which cards are more likely to rise out of packs uh, with hype, right? Now, of course, all the cards from foot birthday had the five-star skills of the five-star weak foot. That was hype about those cards. This week, we have foot fantasy items with potential upgrades that are starting later on, but the potential to get a plus one, plus two, plus three, and relatively quickly based on, you know, how that player and how the team plays, getting a win and a goal and an assist for an attacker like Gelson Martins or Nani or Inaki Williams or St. Maximin, that could come as easily as the first weekend after these guys play. So the upgrades might be here sooner rather than later. Of course, it could also, the, the flip side of the coin is it might take them four or five games to get all their upgrades then you're like, okay, then we're on the doorstep of team this season. But again, what rose the best from last week from foot birthday team number two were the more expensive, the rare cards, right? Firmino and Dybala had some of the biggest percentage point rises besides Dominic Sanchez as just a very, very cheap uh, Premier League center back with really good stats and a popular card in FIFA. A lot of these higher tier, um, you know, more expensive, but not super crazily expensive, but just more rare cards. Dybala was 1.05 mil on Thursday and Friday, and look where he rose to right now today. 1.27. The man is flying in price. On Xbox, he was down to 990 and is up now uh, at 1.1 million coins. So some nice rises on a lot of these foot birthdays. Firmino is another one. He was like 1.04, 1.05 mil. He's up to 1.27. Um, Danny Alves was down at like 575, I think, on the PlayStation as his lowest price. It doesn't show in here. Uh, but he was down in the 570s and he's back up to like 620. So he had a decent rise. And then, of course, the Dominic and Sanchez, which is just a very meta center back in the Premier League. Huge rise on both consoles for cheaper budget Premier League squads. Uh, he had really good reviews, five star skills, and, you know, Dominic Sanchez, everybody remembers his cards from older FIFAs. So they want to try him out with a cheap promo item uh, in this game. And people that run Prem teams switch and, swip and, switch and swap out players like all the time. So looking at this team this week, who do I like? Well, honestly, there's a lot of cards in here that are too like, right? Roussillon, French left back. The other French left back that we have is um, Delane. He's like 170,000 coins. I think Balde is a Serie A striker. Give that dude plus one or plus two. He's going to look really cracked. Um, you know, Stones and Klosterman, Kamavinga, Gelson Martins, Nani, Van de Beek, I think could be a player that is similar to the um, Davinson Sanchez of last week. I mean, 120,000 coins for a Hullet Gang center mid in the Prem. I know he's three star, three star. Only Donnie Van de Beek special card that we have had this year. It's a nice boost. It's a nice item. I know Everton aren't playing that great. But Van de Beek often plays for Everton, and if they can get a win, and if he can somehow get an assist, which, you know, anything is possible after these teams come back from international break, some things might turn around for some of these squads, right? Maybe that break is what they needed, and that's part of the fun with these foot fantasy cards and that they're live items as well that adds to the hype. So I just think there's a there's a lot of items in here. Even this Jimenez. I mean, I know the stats are not as good as like Kunde um, and Adidas Militao, but the potential for an upgrade, he's high rated, 90 rated. You give him a plus three, he's going to become a 92 or 93 rated card most likely. And in terms of fodder, 93 rated cards, 92 rated cards. Lewandowski's 80,000 coins for a 92. Um, you know, same thing with the Ericsson as well, right? These guys are some of the cheaper 90 rated. Ericsson's 53K. If he gets a plus three, the cheapest 93, well, it's it's messy. And then the Lewandowski specials. But, you know, especially if these guys get upgrades and have the potential of more, they're probably going to rise upwards of like 90,000 coins for a Jimenez and for an Ericsson as well. That's just my opinion. So, you know, I think some of the lower tier cards could do very well since they're on the fodder side of things or closer to that fodder range, uh, like Jose Sa, right? He keeps a clean sheet um, and, you know, they win a game. He plays in some games. He, pl he plays and starts just about every single game for Wolves. You know, that card is as a fodder item, probably going to go up to an 88. And all of a sudden he's going to be around like 30,000 coins, maybe even a little bit more than that. With upgrades, he'll maybe become a little, little more usable as well. So take your pick, honestly, on the cards that are on this team. I think a lot of them do look pretty good. Again, 
the only thing of worry that I have to say is we just have to be careful because yes, of course, right now we are in a time where the market is inflated on these cards specifically because people are very hyped about them. They're brand new. They want to try them out. Um, and you know, team of the season is around the corner. So these wouldn't be cards that you would want to buy and hold on to for that long of a time. I think this would be like a shorter hold kind of situation. Uh, maybe it's through the next week, maybe two weeks max, or maybe right until they start getting the upgrades. If the team of the season, like market crash, panic selling type hype hasn't come by then. I think that's kind of what you're worried about. But, um, you know, as we get into that first week of April, when these games start and when these guys are getting potential upgrades, I, I think these cards could hit a peak then, um, if, if not even before then, depending on the card and depending on what else is dropped SBC wise and content wise. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about these cards. Now let's talk buy windows, right? Right now it's late night, 2 a.m. UK time per usual when we're recording the videos and they're running the lightning rounds and it's a Wednesday night heading into Thursday for me. And they're running the 85 plus star lightning round packs. These probably aren't going to sell out over the hour that they're there. Well, there's a little bit of supply coming in as people are opening these. They're going to run the next two hours of lightning rounds as well. Probably going to have more lightning rounds uh, today on Thursday as well. And we're going to have marquee matchup supply. So when we kind of look at buy windows for these cards, you know, marquee matchups, lightning rounds today on Thursday is going to be a, a great opportunity, I think, to pick up on a few of these items, whichever one you want. If it's a buy for your team, especially if it's a car that you're just going to buy during the promo, like, all right, ball day is 49,000 coins. I just want to buy him because he plays for my favorite team or for the Serie A squad. I think he's a great budget striker, that sort of thing. I think today on Thursday might be a great opportunity to go ahead and do that. Um, you know, it depends on what content that EA drops today too, of course. But if EA drop some uh, pretty good content, that would make these cards drop down a little bit lower, like another player pick SBC of some sorts or something like that. That would be something to keep a watch on. 120 for Van de Beek. That's sitting as well. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, that's kind of the lowest that he's been all week. So, you know, I think that today on Thursday could be a time to watch these cards. Also tomorrow on Friday, like we did last week, if the content on Friday is not good, what you're going to see is these cards uh, that are not being replaced with a hype item from Team 2 of Fantasy Foot are probably going to jump up in price like right away. We saw this exact same thing happen with Dybala, with Firmino, with Danny Alves, with Lucas Paqueta last week on Friday for the Foot Birthday Team 2 cards. If the content on, on this Friday tomorrow is not good, these cards are going to rebound, right? Some of them, not all of them, uh, but some of them are going to rebound right away. Maybe even like a Gelson Martins or, um, like I said, maybe a Klosterman. Lucas Mora being from the mini release is going to make him a little bit more rare. I do agree this card is still overpriced. Mora right now is 870 on the market. Again, I think this card is overpriced because you have a Sancho that is better than this item. But again, it's the potential upgrades with this card that could make it look insane you know, it's got everybody excited. So those are some of my thoughts on those fantasy foot cards. Some of them might even go up a little bit today with uh, with Rivals Rewards, right? That actually happened last week with the foot birthday cards, which was I was not expecting, but it happened, right? Some of these guys actually went up um, and it could happen again today. So there might be a window to trade with these guys in the short term, but I would be careful holding on to them for too long because I think what you're going to see is, of course, once we see people get their, you know, the, the rivals rewards today, maybe there'll be some team buying and some squad building as they go out and get those players. But of course, with the Thursday content, that's going to bring some more supply on the market. So I'd be careful flipping these cards after rewards today um, if you're going to be going and doing that. So I'm going to be watching these cards over the weekend because again, the live aspect to them, even though they're stupid expensive and they're way overpriced, at least some of them are like Rashford, St. Maximin, uh, Kamavinga, I think is overpriced as well. We're still going to keep an eye on them because they could rise in price because they're live, they have hype, and that upgrade potential is what everybody wants to buy these cards for. So that was a lot of talking on one subject, but I just wanted to cover that because that's a big point right now on the market and a lot of people are thinking about these fantasy foot cards. Now, let's get into some of the other content that we have to speak about. Of course, we're going to wind it back to yesterday on Wednesday. The content yesterday was not very hype, right? We had a daily SBC for a pack. We had silver stars. We had lightning rounds. And uh, we had headliner upgrades that haven't even happened yet. Um, we have an 86 rated Kloss card that is supposed to be 87 rated. At the time of me recording this, he is not upgraded. It's like EA forgot to press the button for the upgrades on Kloss and Zakaria. Both of these cards should be getting a plus one because they won their win streaks. So, of course, Kloss should be becoming an 87 headliner streak item. Um, or sorry, not the win streak. He got the inform. It's a win streak for Zakaria. He's going to an 88 because of that. 
Klaus is uh, going to an 87 because he got an inform in this week's team of the week, which by the way, this week's team of the week is not bad. Uh, opening team of the week packs value wise, you've got multiple cards over 100,000 coins. You've got Coleman at 80K, Bamyang 63, Ben Yedder 121, and Sun is 273. It's not a terrible week to be opening that pack just for a value perspective. Um, I know there's no Ronaldo in there that's like 500K, but you have a couple of those mid-tier cards as well that are going to be more common to pack, at least for right now before we get to like Friday and there's more supply. It's not a bad time to open Team of the Week packs, just being completely honest. So the market yesterday was pretty quiet, right? I'm still holding on to a lot of the stuff that I bought on Tuesday. The out-of-pack special cards, uh, you know, I have some Mateus Cunhas, I have some Kyle Walkers. Still have a lot of these cards on my transfer list that I purchased and picked up. I have some Spinazolas. Um, I bought I bought a couple 88s. I bought some Ramos and uh, a lot of Ramos and some Kane. My first kind of fodder movement, I guess. I'm not unassigned. Nothing crazy like that. But because of the lightning rounds, um, you know, a lot of this fodder dropped down yesterday. And I know that the Icon Player Pick SBC went away. So that could be some of the demand has gone away as well for some of these cards. Uh, but I think that people are going to get their rivals rewards today. And it's going to be a much needed injection of fodder and i bought canes at what was that 47k wow kane is back up to 53 that's kind of crazy ramos i got at 27 uh he's up a couple thousand coins but i just think that people are going to get their rivals rewards today go out and do sbcs or buy some of the promo cards from the current team so that's why i think you're going to see that fodder go up a little bit after the rewards uh time frame today on the market now speaking of packs and rewards and stuff like that we have a couple leaks and pack code uh items here to cover there are three new packs that were added to the code just last night. Now, they're not anything crazy. I think these, are, to me, are more leaning towards SBC packs and not necessarily store packs, um, except for maybe a couple of them, right? We have three packs. Here's the first one. And it's called an 84-plus star duo players pack. This one, to me, is going to be a store lightning round pack because uh, it's similar to like the 85, 86, and 87-plus star it contains six gold rare players with two guaranteed to be high 84 rated 84 and higher. Um, that's that pack. I think that's going to be in the store. Then there's another one called the 383 to 88 rated players pack. I honestly think that that's going to be, uh, I don't think they're going to put that in the store. That'd be, maybe they'll put that in the store, but I, I mean, I think that one could be more likely an SBC. And then also there's one that is a 75 plus times five, five 75 plus rated rare players. That screams SBC to me. I don't think EA would put that in the store and then ask people to spend money on it. I mean, to me, that is an SBC pack. So again, the 83 to 88, it's just more of like a fodder pack, the 75 plus times five, interesting, whatever. And then the 84 plus star duo, that to me, since it has 84, 84 plus star, and since we have other packs with that star in the name, I think that's going to be in the store at some point. Uh, for some sort of FIFA point sale or something like that. But those are the new packs that we have added. Again, nothing crazy, but at least interesting to talk about. And then also, I wanted to speak about this. These are our first Icon Moments player SBCs that are leaked to be coming. There's no date for them yet, but hopefully it's within the next couple of days. It might even start this Sunday. Uh, that could be maybe even as soon as, soon as today. But I feel like this Sunday could be a very opportune time for these as well. Ashley Cole Moments and Socrates moments he says again both icons were scheduled or sorry they're not scheduled yet so that means we don't have like a specific date for when these spcs could be dropping both socrates and um cole dropped off a little bit in price yesterday but not too much um so i think that they would drop off a little bit more when a leak comes out saying hey these guys are going to be getting an spc and it's going to be today so well hopefully ea can price those very nice because this socrates card does look pretty dope and I know a lot of people would want to do an Ashley Cole uh, Moments SBC as well, because hopefully it's like 400,000 coins, 450K or less. That'd be pretty craftable for an Icon Moments English left back. That would help out with a lot of people's squads. And then this Socrates would just be a cool one to like collect and put in the club. 99 shot power, 99 long shots, five star weak foot. He did get a really big balance upgrade uh, from his other cards, like plus 22 from the mid and plus 20 from the prime. So this is going to be the most usable version of Socrates you're going to get. Still going to be a little bit of a truck, but looks kind of like a cool card. So that's uh, a nice first leak, I guess you could say. Um, other than that, we don't really have a lot. A couple of marquee matchups, leaks today, Brazil, USA, Portugal, and I don't even know what flag that is, but I'm guessing those are Senegal. I think that's I think that's Senegal or Cameroon. I never can get them uh, straight, but... Those are going to be evidently the something to do with the 
um, marquee matchups getting released today. The new codes that are there. He also mentioned cross-platform will be tested in FIFA 22. Not sure how they will do that. Maybe sometime during the summer they'll throw something out there, or maybe it'll be sooner than that. So not a ton of leaks to look at right now, which is fine. Uh, but I just wanted to update you guys on the things that were out there and that were being talked about at the moment in terms of of the leaks. So speaking of today, Thursday content, just to kind of end the video off and talk through the last few things. Uh, of course, we have rewards today. I, I mean, as I mentioned, I could see the market going up a little bit. That's why I held some of my out of packs cards. Uh, I did get a Lucas on bid for 854. I thought that was pretty low. Um, we'll see with the late night lightning rounds what he goes to. But, um, you know, we could see some of this market going up a little bit. And that's why I did it. I, I didn't rush to sell any of these cards that were on my transfer list. I got these Mateus Cunhas at like 89 to 90,000 coins for most of them. I really hope that today he can just kind of inch over that 100,000 coin mark. I know there's a lot of people that have still held on to these cards that invested on them on Tuesday when the market dropped a lot as well. Um, so if there's going to be crazy leaked content for today, he's still like 93, 94K. So there's that. But if there's any crazy leaked content for today, you're probably going to see a bit of a drop in the market with panic selling from other traders um that have that are seeing the leaks and that are selling cards that they have because of the leaks that they see so just be just be careful with that i would say um if you do have some cards on the market and you're expecting a rise today although it does seem to be primed for at least a little bit of a rise uh, as people maybe go out and buy some cards back this this team of the week like i said has some decent players in it people will be playing for reds and packs with fantasy foot team two going to be out uh, of course this weekend a lot of people want to get packs for the new team being out there as well so again today content thursday wise i do think i'm going to see expect to see lightning rounds again they've done it the past two weeks the same exact way um they've done the 85 plus star packs like multiple times they did lightning rounds yesterday at 6 7 8 p.m uk i think they'll do that again today 6 7 and 8 p.m uk time um and then we'll have marquee matchup supply as well the thing that we don't know about is are they going to release an icon upgrade pack we don't have any icon upgrade packs right now on the market um which is very interesting which we've had either a prime icon upgrade or a mid or prime player pick for like the past two or three weeks and now without having one of those there it seems a bit bare so um, I'm curious to see if EA do anything about that today and if they release something. There would most likely be leaks ahead of time. We also could see another player SBC. Uh, we've had Antonio, Tonali, Cali Aguri, only three of them. Maybe we get a fourth today as the last uh, full day of the Team 1 promo. That would be something to watch out for as well. So, um, and again, like I mentioned, SBC fodder, without the icon player pick being there, I think that will pull some fodder cards up a little bit because a lot of fodder has gone down, um, you know, because we still have the Mbappe. We still have a lot of other SBCs that are available that people would want to go out and do. Um, but I do think that not having the icon player pick there might hurt a little bit that, of that demand just a little bit. So I think we'll still see a bit of a fodder rise in some areas, some informs probably going up. Um, as people go out and do SBCs, but it we'll see, right? We'll have to see what EA Sports has planned for today on Thursday. I'm really going to be watching the fantasy foot cards on the market to see if any of them like drop in price or are investable or um, especially with the late night lightning rounds tonight. Maybe if we see a slight rise before rewards, this could be something that we get involved in, involved with and take part with if we see prices that we like enough. Um, on the market today. So it's going to be a very interesting couple of days, couple of hours on the market with a new promo coming out. Is EA going to do anything crazy or are they just going to kind of let these cards stay high, release average content and keep us, keep us thinking about team of the season looming out there, but not actually being here quite yet. So that's kind of all my thoughts right now on the fantasy foot cards, investing in them. I do think I'm going to be putting some coins into them. I really do. Um, depending on the time frame and what content is, that is what would change when I would go out and buy those cards. So that's going to be the video today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate, the foot account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.